Welcome to my channel, I'm Robin Clevett and here I am with a new project or a new series. But is it a new project? Well actually it's not, it's something that I've been building for some time and if you're an avid viewer of Skill Builder and have followed my progress on there and also on my channel you will have known that we actually covered some of the construction of this room, of my garden house if you like, over on there so if you do want to watch some of that get over to Skill Builder, look back through the videos and you will see some of this in action. So why haven't I finished this project? Now the reason is I had to build this first before I built my house because to get the piling rig up here to do the groundwork we had to build a road where the house was so we had no choice and I don't like to build something and half finish it on the outside so I had to complete the outside which meant the landscaping, the exterior fabric of the building, you name it, pretty much everything. So I took it up to a stage of insulating ready for first fix and that basically means electrical, plumbing and all of those nice things that you need to put in before you cover all of the walls up and get it all finished out. So that's the bit we're doing. This is a new series come and have a look around and I'll show you exactly what we're going to be doing in no particular order I might add because this is building and we sometimes change our plans, change our way of working to suit all kinds of reasons. So it is a predominantly reinforced concrete slab, a huge reinforced concrete slab. So there's 20 piles under here which go down 10 meters deep. They're 300 millimeter reinforced concrete piles then the raft is sitting on the top because we're on clay so we have to allow for heave and movement and all the rest of it and that forms the base and then we built our structure around which was predominantly timber framed so looked like a new dwelling effectively 140 mil thick walls mass filled with PIR then we've got like a counter batten for services that enables us to get all of our sockets and everything in on the warm side We've got all of the roof ready, done. It's a cold roof, so the ventilation is over the top of the insulation. It comes in at the eaves, goes over the insulation, and it goes out at the ridge, so that's a really nice solution. And again, we've just got to put that vapor check insulated plasterboard, which will be going all over that. So we've got quite a lot of material that I've been getting ready and collecting for the project. We've got our thermo wood here a beautiful bit of thermo wood here and this is going to be going on the ceiling of the lap pool in here. So this is going to be going on here but the difference in here is we'll be putting a really good vapour barrier up first and then a counter batten then we'll be using the thermo wood. The thermo wood is absolutely fantastic in high areas of moisture indeed externally as well. Now the secret of a pool room or something like this is to make sure that you get all of the mechanical and electrical um, moisture control all absolutely perfect. So what does that basically mean? So where you've got a body of water which you're heating, so if the water's 29 degrees, the air temperature wants to be one degree more when you're using it, so when you get out you're not cold and that generates a lot of evaporation. All that evaporation is just gonna go and sit on the cold surfaces. All of the surfaces will be colder than the water, of course. So you have to deal with that, and we deal with that two ways, by introducing fresh air and also dehumidifying the air as well. That all works in conjunction with one another to stop any of that fabric of the building getting damaged. So you could even plaster and paint the inside of a pool room, providing you get all of that right. So all the way through this project I've been researching and learning and researching and learning and I'll bring you some of that as and when we bring in the products, heat pumps, um, heat exchangers and all that sort of stuff, air conditioning to make it all work. So the first job, or one of the first jobs we'll be doing will be the ceiling in here and the reason we're doing that is because we have a temporary floor and inside we've got a lot more material which goes in the other side. So we've got to get this ceiling all done, then we can remove this floor. This floor consists at the moment of 80 mil OSB on a 150 millimeter solid joist. That then becomes the plant room wall which travels across the back here. The OSB goes on the inside of it to give us some grounds to fix to and that's going to be a nice job too. So it'll be the ceiling, the wall, 
Then we're gonna drop in the other side and start our stud work. The stud work forms little areas, like a little sh changing sort of room. And you know, just the sort of normal thing you might have in a garden room. We've got a new type of stud work here as well. I'm really excited to be bringing this to you, showing you the stud work. I'm not gonna talk about it now. You'll have to check for the video for that in the future. But that's it, so we're a bit unorganized. I've been stacking and storing stuff up here. I've been calling this my workshop for probably a couple of years and that's been quite fun as well. However, it's no longer gonna be my workshop. That'll have to come after I finish this. So I hope you enjoyed the series. Please check back, subscribe, get the notifications and I'll be glad to take you along on the journey.